Today, the Red Cat Ascent 18 is getting a huge upgrade. Fury Tech just released a couple of kits for this thing, and we got our hands on the Starter Brushless Kit. 99 bucks, you're gonna get the brushless motor, ESC, and a receiver that integrates directly with the stock radio. I love this truck already, and if you've seen the other Ascent 18 videos that we've done, you know that we got some great performance out of it already. Now, I can only imagine what this is gonna be like on brushless power. It's gonna take this thing to another level, and I'm super excited to check it out. So let's get in here. We're gonna check out the Fury Tech kit, then we're gonna install it, then we're gonna run this thing. We're gonna hit the indoor course. It's nice out this weekend, so we're gonna hit the rocks and go have some fun. So let's not waste any more time talking about it. Let's get in and check out the kit. Okay, let's check out our kit here. So this is one of a handful of kits that Fury Tech has released for the Ascent 18. This is the more budget-friendly, ready-to-run version. For 99 bucks, you get this set up here. It comes with the ESC, receiver, and the motor, and it is compatible with the stock radio. So this is a plug-and-play setup to get you set up with brushless power on the Ascent 18. There are a couple other models, the Torpedo kit, that comes with a higher end ESC, comes with the Python, also comes with the Cedar motor. So if you wanna step it up, you can. Fury Tech has wasted no time giving us a bunch of options for this awesome truck. So I'm excited to get into this, let's check it out. Starting with the ESC and receiver combo, let's check them out. Here is our Fury Tech four channel receiver here. Footprint on this is fairly small. It's got kind of a, an odd shape, it's tall. It's got these triangular pieces in the back, but you still should be able to stick this somewhere and take up minimal space in your build. This is going to connect to the Fury Tech Lizard Pro that we have here. This is the newer design of the Lizard Pro, has this case that includes the Bluetooth module built in, so this is going to sync up to the Fury Car app. If you have your smartphone or your tablet, you'll be able to do on-the-fly tuning, real-time telemetry and adjustment. It's a very, very powerful tool with this ESC. The Lizard Pro can support up to 3S. You can run 2 or 3S LiPo with the Lizard Pro. The motor, however, can only run on 2S. So the system as it is right now is only limited to 2S LiPo. If you want to upgrade your motor, you could get 3S and you could run it with the Lizard Pro here. Our receiver and ESC combo are going to run this Venom motor, this Venom brushless motor here. Now the Venom is a great little motor. Fury Tech has been incorporating this into their RTR models. I've got this in three builds now, I think, and it's doing really, really well. Very similar to the Fury Tech Micro Komodo, which is an excellent motor. Very small outrunner style motor. This is not waterproof. Get lots and lots of speed and torque out of this tiny little thing. Comes with a steel 12 tooth pinion on here. Has this nice black chrome finish. The Venom logo, the Fury Tech logo there. Great looking little setup here. Inside the kit, we've also got instructions for installation and binding to the stock radio. So depending on which kit you have, there's the torpedo kit, here's the starter kit like what we have. So we've got instructions to bind this thing up. So I'm gonna get to installing this. We're gonna put this setup in the truck and then we'll bind it up to the stock radio and give this thing a whirl. I'm really excited for this. I can't wait to see how this truck runs on brushless power. So let's tear into this thing and do a motor swap. All right, my friends, we should be up and going. Getting this thing bound up was super easy. All you do is on the stock radio, press and hold the bind button, turn it on, it goes into bind mode. Then turn on the ESC and receiver. It doesn't look like it's doing anything, but then you just switch off the radio, switch it back on, and then it binds right up. So we got stock setup here, stock battery. Good steering. Check it out. What I really like about this system right off the bat is that there's very little, if any, slack in the drivetrain. You see that motor starts to spin, the drivetrain starts to move. It does little to no rotation before the drivetrain starts moving, which is nice. Nice and clean. Whisper, whisper quiet ultra smooth off the bottom. I've not updated the firmware or gone in to tune anything. Just fired this thing up. 
Powerful, really powerful. Really happy with this. So for the setup, all I did, I put the Lizard Pro on one side of the slider and put the receiver on the other. So now I move my electronics from the back up into the middle and down low. Not a lot of weight here, but anything we can get to shift that weight where we want it. Super, super clean look here. Looks factory. Let's see how the body looks on here. Make sure everything fits. Should have done that prior, but I was too excited. Plenty of room inside this cab with no interior. Hides everything perfectly on the sliders. Oh man, I am pumped for this. What a great upgrade. So rad. Let's get this thing on the course. I'm going to go into the Fury Car app. I'm going to check out the firmware, make sure it's all up to date. Do a little bit of tuning for my throttle curve, punch, drag brake, all that good stuff, the usual suspects. And then we're going to hit the course and see how it goes. Tomorrow, it's the middle of the night right now. Tomorrow, when the sun comes out, we'll take it out and hit the rocks. But in the meantime, let's have some fun indoors. All right, here we are on the course. Up the voltage to the servo, running six and a half volts on the servo. Got good, strong steering. That tremor servo. Only other thing I've done to this truck, I put the Endura yellow inserts in these little guy racing parts tires. That's all I've done since my last video. Oh, I'm so happy with this. If you've watched my previous Ascent 18 videos, pretty much my only gripe was really in how it delivered power. It just wanted it to be lower geared. Now we've got the brushless power. We've got all the versatility we could ever want with that power curve. Brushless gives us that ultra slow, super controlled low end. And with these tall gears, man, we got tons of wheel speed if we need it. So this has really single-handedly addressed all of my lingering challenges with this truck and has leapfrogged this thing. Oh, so good. Those tires are still super squishy. I might have to put the green inserts in there. Maybe the green in the front. I don't know. Drop it down into Mini Moab, hit our challenge lines. We already know this thing is super capable. Wow, we actually got air there, I think. Let the brushless motor do its thing, getting us up there, great job. Looking good. I will say you gotta be real careful with the throttle on this thing because it will get away from you. It has tons of wheel speed. That little venom in here, super potent. But in the Fury Car app, you can tune your low speed and your throttle curve as much as you want. So without messing with the gearing, until we get some lower gears in here, you can do it electronically. So much versatility with these Fury Tech setups. Oh, I love this truck. All right, that was a quick course run. I'm gonna put this thing away for tonight, charge the battery up so we can get after it tomorrow out on the rocks. This thing is ready. Out here, crawler heaven with the brushless ascent. Beautiful day here. It's windy because we got some warm air coming in, but we finally got about 60 degree weather and sunny. This is going to be fun. There is the slow crawl I've been after with this thing. So excited for this. And again, plenty of wheel speed to bump when you need to. We're going to jump right into Bicycle Bridge, 
challenging line here for the little guys. To change my approach there a little bit. Let's see. With this extra power, you gotta be careful not to break anything in the drivetrain. Still running plastic drive shafts, everything else is metal. That steering is quick too. I got the little guy racing parts servo on there at the six and a half volts. Very quick though. Yes, yeah, so this is an axle breaker right here. See so if I can get out. Oh, yeah. Those black label tires working great with those Endura inserts in there. That's what those things needed. Rather than wrestle through there and risk breaking something, I have to do the hand of God and reset. We'll keep it going. And all the customization you could want here. I got my drag brake tuned with the option to do much more. So good with this Fury Car app. Can drop that down. One thing I'm noticing with this setup is that it, it is very, very smooth. You know, in other Fury Tech setups, when that FOC, that field-oriented control, kicks out or kicks out at around 30% throttle, you get that abrupt hitch. This, I feel like there's a very clean transition. Oh, look at that, through the rest of the throttle curve. I don't know if that's just the evolution of the firmware, but Fury Tech has done a great job with smoothing out the throttle curve here. It's very, very smooth. This truck benefits so much from the brushless control. Being able to just slow it down and let those black label tires find the grip, huge difference. Tough section here, able to navigate it clean. Whoa, that was a super steep decline. Going up the slide here, this is another real tricky one for the minis. Finding myself wishing I had a longer wheelbase here. I'm just getting high centered a lot, it feels like. And we're getting into the really tough section here. The thing that's challenging and fun about this section is that it's always evolving because as the big trucks come through here the rocks get moved so the lines that worked last time change as things shift 
This is gonna be tricky. Get those tires working. Oh my gosh, I love it. shot awesome all right guys fantastic combo here from fury tech great performance huge performance gains with the brushless power seamless integration into this truck love that you can keep the stock radio bargain bargain performance right here and has totally unlocked even more performance from the already very capable ascent 18 here they see that motor spinning in the cab there. I'm getting in trouble here. Oh man, saved it. I'm just able to recover from these really tricky situations because of the control I have with the Fury Tech system. I'd be looping out everywhere from the previous version. Oh, I'm not going to save that one though. Oh, <laughs> we made it. Hey, we're in a battle now. I got to get this line and then I'm going to wrap this up. get the tires up there I think we're good kind of inch it over come on grab there we go all right guys I'm gonna hang out have some fun really enjoying this combo I'll catch you back at the bench to wrap this up so I had a great time with the brushless kit on the ascent 18 like I said during the run footage this has really solved all of my gripes with the ascent 18 no longer do I feel the need to mess with the gearing, although low crawler gears would still be nice. But now with that ultra slow control on the bottom that you get with this brushless motor and the Fury Tech Electronics, you've got the best of both worlds because it's got all the punch you want at the top end as well. The kit was a super easy installation. It's so nice that it integrates with the stock radio. Makes this thing just a quick plug and play direct swap. Only about 10-15 minutes to swap it out and you're on brushless power. Now the Venom motor does run a little hot. I did get some heat, but not enough to cause any issues. After I turned the camera off when I was running it earlier, I started to push it hard. I like to get my recording done first and then really push these things. That way if I break anything, I've already got the footage that I need for the video. But that being said, it held up fantastic. The only thing I noticed that under some situations I would get some cogging when I would get those tires bound up in some tricky spots, the motor would start to cog. But under normal driving conditions, this thing operated silky, silky smooth. Like I said in the run footage as well, I didn't get any of the abrupt hitching that I sometimes get with the Fury Tech systems when you break through that FOC range. This thing felt very linear, very smooth. It made this truck a whole lot of fun to drive. So all in all, I think this is bargain performance. I love what Fury Tech has done with these two kits. There's the Torpedo kit that's available that comes with the upgraded motor and the Python ESC. You're going to be about $60 more for that kit. And you're $99 for the kit that we have here. So you've got your pick, which is great. And I'll link both of them down in the description here below. But guys, let me know your thought. What do you think of the Ascent 18 on brushless power? Is this the way to go with this thing? And as always, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video.